guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. So today's video is going to be a lipstick related video. I haven't done a lipstick video since so long and I've been really, really wanting to do a lipstick video. So I was kind of organizing my lipsticks and from there I got an idea of picking 10 lipsticks out of all the lipsticks I have. So I thought to myself, will I be able to do this challenge or not? Then I thought, okay, it's really, really difficult. So I have divided this video into two parts. Today we are going to see the high-end lipsticks and I will film another video where I will try to pick 10 lipsticks from my drugstore collection. So I really hope that you are interested in this video. I am very excited to pick some lipsticks which are my favorites, like 10 lipsticks which are my favorite. I have a kind of an idea of what I might be picking up, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so without much further ado, let's quickly get started with today's video. Okay guys, so this video is going to be super casual video and we are just going to have some fun here. I want it to be an interactive video as well. So do watch this video and after you're done watching, go ahead and do the same thing with your collection and come back and comment down below which 10 lipsticks did you pick from your collection you can do it high-end lipsticks or drugstore lipsticks or everything together that doesn't matter just pick your 10 favorite lipsticks and let me know in the comment section below for sure okay okay so let's get started uh today we are doing my high-end or luxury lipstick collection uh, there was a time where i used to buy only drugstore lipsticks i didn't really have too many high-end lipsticks and I was pretty happy with my drugstore lipstick collection, especially liquid lipsticks. I was a big, big, big fan of liquid lipsticks. But now uh, somehow I have uh, this huge collection of cream lipsticks, uh, cream matte lipsticks and stuff like that. So here are my high end lipsticks. I usually have this at the back over there if you have seen in my other videos. So this is a lipstick stand. Okay, I tried to count. I think about 26 or 27 lipsticks are there in this one so this is a lipstick stand which i have purchased pretty recently and these are all some of the high-end lipsticks i have here and then i have another one which is like your regular lipstick holder so these are some which i have this one i organized today just today now if you want to see my entire lipstick collection the high-end ones then do let me know in the comment section below i will probably go through each and every uh, brand and let you know my thoughts on them but today we are going to do a very simple pick and choose and i'll show you the swatches on my lips will apply it and see how it shows okay so my first favorite is what i am wearing today this is from lisa eldridge this is the velvet blush collection of, or sorry the velvet lipsticks and this is the shade velvet blush which is a beautiful pink and i love this lipstick so much this is what i have on my lips right now and i have worn it probably about three hours back and this is how it looks after coffee this is super long wearing on my lips and i love the color it's like a light pinky rosy color and this is a very very everyday friendly shade and it looks gorgeous uh, on my kind of skin tone as well it's a very wearable comfortable it's a matte looking formula love the packaging and i love the color i love these kind of colors which are very everyday friendly it works well with mask as well and i love these kind of pinky rosy everyday kind of colors so you may see a couple of these colors more in the video so that was the first one the lisa elrich velvet lipsticks in the shade velvet blush so that was lisa elrich velvet blush i have four more shades right here i love the shade velvet decade as well it's one of my favorites but i think i'll not choose in this video but i really, really love that shade so just want to mention if you want to see the swatches then i have a dedicated video on these lipsticks next i think i will go on to some pat mcgrath lipsticks i have quite a large collection of pat mcgrath lipsticks which are in here one two three four five six seven eight nine lipsticks i think i haven't swatched all of them in a single video so i will do that pretty soon but i do have videos on uh, most of the shades uh, which i have so the most favorite one which i love are these two from pat morath from pat morath i'm choosing two the first one is called executive realness i can't tell you how much i worn this lipstick i love it it's it's like right here it's gone so much so down and it's a very nice pink you can see i love pinks uh, so i hope you can see it's a more of a brighter pink this one you can see the previous one is a little bit more muted i love this brighter pink shade so that one is executive realness i love how bright and beautiful this pink is it has a slight 
hint of berry so that's why i really really like it you guys know how much i love berry lipsticks so yeah this is one of my favorites a go-to lipstick even for everyday wear also this looks really nice love the formulation i have a full review video on pat Mara lipsticks so not talking too much about it let's move on i'll show you this shade which i also love this is a shade flesh 5 okay love flesh 5 this is a classic everyday neutral kind of shade it has a slight bit of a mauve to it but not too much it's like a brownie pinkish movie nude love this love this color flesh 3 here we can see flesh so that one is flesh 3 you can see it has a slight bit of a reddish undertone to it as well it's a neutral nude a little bit of warmth and a little bit of reddishness to it but more of more or less it's a brownish nude on my kind of skin tone so i love this shade it's also really nice under a gloss so if you want a little bit of color on the lips you can wear these kind of neutral nude shades and then apply a little bit of gloss on top it looks very very natural i do that a lot okay next i don't know what i'm going to pick it's going to be very very difficult so let me go through this one this stack here so these are the huda beauty lipsticks i definitely want to pick some huda beauty lipsticks uh, probably i really really love ladies night it's a classic berry which i love and uh, i also really really like graduation day which i wear a lot so i think i will definitely try these two somehow the lid is stuck inside here we already have five lipsticks and i have five more to go this is going to be really really close let me swatch ladies night first i already have full review videos and swatch videos my blog posts on these lipsticks so not talking too much just applying this lipstick this is actually my second ladies night i had bought one ladies night which my mom loved so i gave it to her and i bought one more okay i think i kind of messed up the application here but oh my god this is such a beautiful deep 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 berry kind of shade these are the kind of shades i love so much sadly i have not been wearing these shades too often these days because obvious reasons but oh my god these are some of the best shades out there ladies night if you like this kind of deep wine berry shade amazing color so that one is ladies night i think you can already make out this one when i apply these lipsticks these ladies night or these kind of lipsticks these shades i don't feel like taking them off they're just so so pretty these are my kind of shades yeah you won't see a lot of red in my in my top favorites you will see these kind of colors purple pinks nudes berries so yeah if you love reds then you might be a little bit disappointed although i will try to pick one red which i really, really love okay next we have graduation day this is a lipstick which officially lives in my bag i actually got it out from my bag this is a lipstick which travels with me i love it so much it's like a everyday friendly nude color i love how comfortable it is i love how it looks on my skin tone it's there but not there kind of a lipstick and it's not too light that it washes me out i love it so this is the shade graduation day This is a classic movie nude color for every day if you're close to my skin tone looking for a nude lipstick which is comfortable and stays well on the lips then this is a good one uh, especially in the matte range it's this is not completely matte not uncomfortable so that's why i really like it pura beauty graduation day okay let's move on now we have five more lipsticks to pick i am a little bit stressed right now uh, so we did huda beauty we did lisa elrich i have some bite beauty lipsticks right here i think i will pick one which is my absolute favorite these two are the new ones which you can see in my new lipsticks video which i did recently this is the shade rhubarb and then i have one more chai i especially love the shade rhubarb this is like my everyday kind of a lipstick this also i have used quite a lot it has lost its shape what i do is i apply this and then i blot it with a tissue paper and it just stays on for hours and it looks so so beautiful it's like a slight bit of berry pink tint on the lips and it's super comfortable so let me wear this one so this one you might wonder what i really like about this i really love how, how it feels on my lips it's super super hydrating and comfortable and it gives a very nice healthy look to the lips 
so it's a very perfect everyday kind of a lipstick formula and i usually blot it so it doesn't look this shiny but it doesn't look very matte also it looks like you your lips has a slight bit of a color to it uh, and it's not too out there but okay four more to go my god okay let me pick this up one more time so lisa l which is done there are some mac lipsticks i really love these ones i already have a video on these lipsticks the mac lipsticks i like them the mac lipsticks which i have but i think i have other lipsticks which i will pick so i will go to the others first then i have uh, one charlotte tilbury actually two charlotte tilbury yes this one i am loving these days i want to pick this one the charlotte tilbury lipstick this is in the shade first dance i think oh my god this is such a pretty color it's like a it's like a pink i love the packaging on this lipstick as well and i love the formulation of this it's similar to the matte revolution formula which i'm not a big fan of but suddenly these days i am kind of enjoying uh, that kind of a formula which is not too pigmented but it gives a very nice color on the lips uh, and it's very comfortable so i'll wear this one this is one of my favorites these days as you can see it's not pigmented at one go let me just swatch it here as well did i swatch uh, rhubarb no i didn't let me swatch rhubarb as well i completely forgot so here was rhubarb there so you can see in comparison this is like a more a berry mauve kind of a color more subtle more toned down berry version now i will swatch first dance the formulation is actually very nice it feels like a lip balm there is first dance and it's a very very pretty pink i didn't think that this color will actually show up on my skin tone but it actually does so here's first dance from charlotte tilbury it's one of the newer collection and i really really like this pink i don't know something about these kind of pinks which i really love this one and the previous one also uh, this one the executive realness both of them are kind of similar but executive realness was more brighter this is a more toned down pink and this is not as pigmented so it's very everyday friendly you just want a light wash of color on the lips then this is a really really pretty everyday friendly color it's very easy to wear as well not not very heavy on the lips okay seven lipsticks already picked i think yeah these are my favorite kind of shades to wear let me pick some more three more to go okay from here i think i have from some mac and then i have found bobby brown and some natasha dinona and this one oh my god this one i think you have seen in my tutorial pretty recently i have bought this one pretty recently so i will swatch that at the end uh, so this one is definitely in the top 10 i love it from this stack i don't think i'm going to pick out any more let's go to this stack right here Uh, so here I have some Pat McGrath. I love all of these Pat McGrath lipsticks, but I picked out two which I think I love the most. Uh, there is one more which I think I will also pick, which is the shade because I want to show you one red. So I will pick this one. This is the shade Genevieve. Oh my God! Do I have to pick just one more? Oh my God! How to do that? I really love these two lipsticks from Nars, and of course I love. abh rosewood and i love most of these right here but i think for now i'm just going to pick these five and we will see which one makes to the top so definitely i want to pick one from the nars ones so i think uh, you can see the lipsticks audrey is this one which is more like a neutral kind of a color and then you have vera which is more of a berry i love both actually i don't know which one to pick audrey is actually a very interesting unique sort of a color and uh, vera is like a berry so i'll just quickly swatch vera right here it's a really really pretty berry i will swatch audrey on the lips okay i love the color of this one this has a pink but a more reddish warmer vibe to it so very different from what i have chosen here and this is very everyday friendly as well these lipstick formula also i usually blot and then where then they will last longer on the lips so compared to this one which i also really really love this is a nice berry i will choose this one you can see a difference in both of the shades i think i'll go with this one this is a little bit more different so here is 
Audrey, which is a pinkish red kind of a color. This one. Okay, so I have eight of my favorite lipsticks right here. Two here, but eight of my favorite shades right here. I have two more to go and I have three choices in front of me. Uh, so I think I will uh, keep this one away because this is ABH Rosewood. You guys know how much I love this lipstick and I have spoken about this for years now. So I will keep this one uh, for now. I will show you the other two lipsticks which I really, really love. So this one is ABH Rosewood. This is the second tube. <laughs> Uh, I, I just declared the first one which I had used quite a lot so this is the second one which I opened today this is how it looks it's a beautiful beautiful nude a more warmer nude on my kind of skin tone if you have watched my nude lipsticks or any lipstick videos uh, past three four years then you probably have seen this one ABH Rose would I love this so these two I think makes the cut these are in the top 10 the first one is from Pat Murat again. This is a red, okay? Finally, there's a red. And this is the shade Genevere. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. So this is a red with a little bit of a hint of brown. It's not like a true, true red. But these are the kind of reds I love, okay? Like a muted red. It's not a blood red or a very royal red. Okay, I love this color. This red, I love. Otherwise, I am not a big wear it off red lipsticks what pigmentation i love the pigmentation on this lipsticks the pat Mara lipsticks they're just super super rich and look at that color stunning i love this red with these kind of lipsticks you don't really need any other makeup just eyeliner a little bit of blush probably highlighter and this lipstick you're good to go okay guys so this is the last lipstick for today the givenchy rouge lipsticks la rouge deep velvet lipsticks in the shade 38 Grenoble fume i have actually gone ahead and purchased one more shade because i'm in love with the formula look at the packaging of the lipsticks as well so luxurious packaging this is like a velvet packaging and i love the formulation it is super super pigmented if you're someone who loves pigmented lipsticks these have that pigmentation like pat mcgrath level pigmentation Look at that embossing on the lipstick bullet as well. Uh, so this is like, a, I would say like a deep brownish berry kind of a color. Very interesting color. So you can see that this is a more of a muted berry kind of a shade. I just love the tone of this lipstick and how it goes really well with my kind of skin tone. If you're close to my skin tone, definitely check out lipstick colors like these. So yeah, the formulation is amazing. It is marketed as like a velvety matte lipstick. So it gives you that matte feel as well without the uncomfortable matte feeling. So these are perfect and they last on the lips very well as well. I have worn it under the mask. Under the mask also, they perform pretty well. So these are really nice. I quite like them. They're very expensive though, but I think you can try one. If you want to see how the formulation is, you can go ahead and try one. You are not going to regret it. I just swatch it quickly as well. This one right here, Grenoble Fume. You can see that this is a little bit different than what I have so far. Interestingly, all of the lipsticks which I picked up are kind of in the similar range, like pink, nude, mauves, berry. Those are the kind of lipsticks I lo love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see my entire lipstick collection, high-end and drugstore then do let me know i would love to do that video and i will be doing a drugstore video in this uh, format as well i definitely have some more other favorites especially berry kind of lipsticks which are there in my drugstore collection so yeah do check out for that video and yeah i hope you like this video if you did then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye